give me you have to give me some leeway. I'm not an actual dinosaur. <laughs> Come on, Stuart. What's the holdup? We were here a few days ago. You probably read every book they have in there. I just want to take a look around. Are we gonna buy something this time? We're in no rush, Miles. I think we'll stay and read for a while. Can we read at home? People always look at us in here. How can people be looking at you if there's nothing to see? You can't complain. We went to the museum just like you wanted. We're gonna have to go back to the Cretaceous period exhibit next week. You know how much I love pterodactyls. She does love pterodactyls. Stuart. 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 Huh? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, great. Uh, everything's great. Were you gonna read this? Um, oh, I liked it the first time I read it, so. You're rereading Don Quixote. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, well, I've read excerpts. <laughs> Pretty exciting stuff. My favorite part is uh, at the beginning when he fights the giants and... The, the windmills, because he thinks that they're giants. <laughs> um, but you know, there are other books here. You should consider something new. This never disappoints me. You know, I've never reread a book before. There are too many to explore. I can give you a recommendation if you want. Yes. Have you read this? Well, try and take it seriously. I promise you'll find something in there that's worth learning. <laughs> can you talk? Excuse me? I, I mean, can we talk later? Can, can we talk later? I, I like talking to you. I get off for lunch at 1. We could talk then. That's great. I'll be at the cafe across the street. <laughs> Their tea keeps me sane. <laughs> I'll see you in a while. Nice to meet you. Claire. Stuart. Hey, did you... Where were you guys? I needed you back there. We have to talk. But okay, well... And then she handed me a book. And? And said I could learn something from it. Then? Then... I... like talking to her. So I told her that. And she smells like cinnamon. She likes tea. You can't get involved with people. If you don't need us anymore. We won't be here anymore. Of course I need you. That's right. You do. So you don't have to go talk to this... Claire. ...girl. Uh, we can just pretend we never met her. But I met her. And I, I don't want to pretend. Look, if you guys don't want to be with me... We don't exist when you're with her. Go meet her. Figure it out for yourself. People aren't what they're cracked up to be. Thank you. Hi. Hi. We were seven, and well, most parents were telling their kids not to talk to strangers. My mom was reading us The Gingerbread Man and telling us, don't talk to strangers or they'll eat you. <laughs> the Brothers Grimm was my Bible, my bedtime story, and everything in between. Mia loves Brothers Grimm. Who's Mia? Uh, my friends. Friends? Yeah, but Mia and Miles. They're, they're friends of mine. Oh, are they twins? Uh, yeah. Something like that. I mean, 
They're not twins, but they're similar um, and different and wonderful. Well, I'd love to meet them. I'm sorry, was that too forward? No, no, I, I just haven't seen them in a while. Well, absence makes the heart grow fonder. I'm sorry, I didn't know what to say, so I said that. I, I, I need to go. Hey guys, you were right. Stuart, I... is everything okay? Yeah, I just, I have to go. You forgot this. But I didn't. Uh... It's a gift. Just don't let it hide on the shelf. See you later. Miles! Mia? Miles? I'm so happy to see you guys. You too. I missed you so much. I have so much to tell you about my date with Claire. She's- Something has to give. You can't have it both ways. But you guys are here. I was, I was there and now I'm here and you guys are back. Not next time. He's right. There's not enough room in your head and in your heart. You can't trust people. They're unpredictable and they'll break your heart. You don't need them. We were fine the way we were, the three of us. They'll let you down and we won't be here to pick up the pieces. And I don't know what you'll be like. I know, but... <laughs> you can't even touch me. You can't tell me anything new. You can't make me breakfast in the morning. You can't take care of me when I'm sick. You can't do anything. Wait. Maybe we can't do all that, but at least we'd still be here. We just want what's best for you. I need some air. Yourself. You're everything you need. I'll miss you. Hi. <laughs> 